Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of our Slack podcast, where we discuss how Slack can help you and your team drive better collaboration and organizational efficiency, making your work life simpler, more pleasant, and more productive. There's many ways in which Slack can do this for you, but today we're going to focus on Sales Elevate, which we launched very recently and is driving a lot of excitement and questions. Our hope today is to be able to answer the main questions that may be lurking in your head about Sales Elevate. And to do this, I'm honored to be joined by Vanessa O'Mahony, who is our AVP of Sales in EMEA, and is the best person to tell us everything about Sales Elevate. So welcome, Vanessa, and thanks a million for taking the time to talk to me today. How are you doing? I'm really well, and thanks for having me today, Miguel. I'm delighted to be here to talk to the um, launch of Elevate for sales and mm -hmm. how it's impacted our organization and what we're excited about most. So thank you very much for inviting me. Of course, uh, it is an exciting time for sure. Um, with so many launch launches and so many like value for sales teams. But before we jump into the matter of Sales Elevate, I'd love you to tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, your tenure in Slack and Salesforce, and a little bit about your career and your journey up until this point. Yeah, so uh, the career is a lot longer than I really like to remember, so we won't go into the weeds on that. But um, I started my career in sales back in the late 90s, Miguel. Um, mm -hmm. as a BDR at Oracle, servicing the German market. And over the last 20 odd years, um, I've enjoyed um, a very fulfilling career in technology and um, sales, mm -hmm. operational leadership, uh, business development leadership and sales leadership. Um, mm -hmm. And most recently, I joined the Slack EMEA leadership team three and a half years ago um, for very deliberate reasons. One, I was very excited about a product that was inspiring, that I could see myself really engaging with the market mm -hmm. on and, and working with customers on. Secondly, a culture that really had people at the core of its mission. So both in terms of its employee and how we made people successful, but equally how we really centered all of our work around the customer and their success. And finally, mm -hmm. an exciting role. Um, we've been in high growth mode at Slack and in EMEA over the last number of years. So um yeah, it's fast paced and exciting, just what I've what I've looked for and um have really felt fulfillment from over the last three and a half years. And then obviously more recently, um the last two years, um through the Salesforce um and Slack acquisition, um I'm now part of the um the Salesforce team based here in Dublin. Nice. So never a dull moment Never a boring second, right? Never a dull moment. And I also have four daughters and a husband at home. So <laughs> a busy, busy life all around. But um, yeah, equally exciting in that regard. Love to hear that. Four daughters. Uh, <gasps> that is <laughs> trickier than a job as an AVP, I guess. That is that <laughs> is very true. That is very true. That's a whole other podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So maybe for a future, for a future episode. Um, so if you're okay with me just like jumping into it, uh, let me go to the main and first question, which is for someone who hasn't heard about Sales Elevate or that they have heard the name, but they don't know much about the product, what is Sales Elevate? What is exactly that we're trying to achieve here? Yeah. So um, Sales Elevate is the um, new GA intelligent productivity platform, which is really an entirely new way of selling natively within Slack. So if we maybe want to just step out of Elevate for a second and go back to, you know, speak to a lot of people listening in will be familiar with Slack as a productivity platform um, and are using it every day in their day to day. But perhaps there are some people who don't really understand the breadth and depth of the, um, the platform. Um, mm -hmm. It's hard worth us checking in on that. We get very emotional when people associate us, associate us with messaging or mm -hmm. even collaboration without really um, delving in. And it's on us to explain the true value of Slack. So, you know, never has the word productivity been more critical, you know, as organizations are seeking to find new ways to drive efficiency, um, you know, get a better return for their investments and create customer experiences and employee experiences that are, are fit for purpose in a modern way of working. At Slack, um, we like to look at how we work and, and focus on bringing work into Slack, right? And I think the best place to start to, you know, give an idea of what that looks like in an ideal scenario is when we look at 
workflows? What are the processes that we use in a day to day to drive efficiency and make our sellers more productive and respond to our customers in a faster manner? And that is made very simple in Slack through no code automation to mm -hmm really automate those those um, workflows and processes that keep people busy in the day to day. So if I look at it from a sales perspective, um, a recent report has shared that over 70 percent of the day for sellers is spent doing non sales related tasks. Right. So that's, I guess, one way in which automation really um, helps to drive productivity Um, bake into that, you know, two and a half thousand um integration so you know external applications that are used in all aspects of work throughout the day-to-day -day, fully integrated into slack and you start to create a knowledge base where all of the data that is associated with the good work that you're doing is sitting in one place mm -hmm. this is where the collaboration piece comes in and then you know i don't i don't need to share with people who are using slack and we have been innovating recently to introduce huddles and clips and new ways to really modernize how we collaborate around all of that automation to create a knowledge base that allows us to access the data for faster decision making and ultimately leads to more um, productive outcomes for us in all aspects of the work. Mm -hmm. So if we take that as the baseline of Slack as the place where work happens, then we put AI, which, you know, innovation is rife. We see, um, you know, real innovation in the roadmap, roadmaps across all lines of business. But from an Elevate perspective, what that is, is really the cherry on top for us at Slack and Salesforce. So it brings natively within Slack the power of your Salesforce investment and all of that rich content and juicy customer activity and opportunity management right into Slack where all other aspects of your work are happening. So as a sales leader myself and as somebody who is bringing Elevate to market, you know, this is the most exciting point um, and juncture for us at Slack as we really create a new way of empowering sales teams to be more successful and drive efficiency and also add in some more fun to how they go about their working working day. OK, I love that. I love both the trying to like improve the, the productivity and like give sales teams some time back. Uh, and also like a little bit of a sprinkle of fun uh, into that. So uh, what would be a way, for example, like one simple example in which if we compare not having sales elevate, like maybe previously in your career and now uh, being able to use sales elevate internally, which I assume that uh, your team is doing. Yeah. What are some one or a couple of examples in which it saves you time of sure. these non sale activities? Yeah. So if I put on, first of all, my AE hat, right? So what does it mean for an AE, right? And, um, you know, we, we, we want them to in real time be doing tasks like uh, updating their opportunity, moving the deal stage from stage two to three after an engaging customer interaction. Maybe they're putting a, um, a deal cycle to closed one. So mm -hmm. this is simplifying right from Slack, all of those um, tasks that are required in order for us to really manage our business and create an environment where velocity and customer response is, is critical. So it's really simplifying, you know, what sometimes mm -hmm. can be heavy from a context um, switching perspective. It's also mobile available. So that means it can be done on the go, mm -hmm. on the fly, in the field, at an event, at a customer site, et cetera, right? So, and I know you're going to do a demo, so I'm not going to, um, you know, do the, the demo part of this, but from an AE perspective, it really is simplifying their, their daily task in terms of bringing that sales cloud investment to life in Slack. From a sales leader perspective, um, you know, this is about control. This is about visibility of your business. It is about forecast accuracy. You know, when we look at productivity, we're talking about things like, closing deals faster, right? So if the AE is simplifying their processes, then how can I get access to an opportunity in real time such that I understand what resources we need to deploy, what mm -hmm. teams we need to bring in? So for example, um, the sales home field in my Slack instance is where all of this is brought to life. And what I can see there is insights that are relevant to me at that time. So for example, depending on where I am in the quarter, I might want to see um, opportunities that are moving into stage six or stage seven so that I have a better sense of where we're going to yeah. land earlier in the in the, the the quarter cycle. Maybe I'm looking at earlier stage so that I can start to swarm and offer my support and sponsorship in some of those larger deals. 
we want to celebrate closed one so I can get notifications every time I deal. So rather than wait to the end of a period or mm. to an award ceremony, I can really go to the team and create an environment where we're celebrating success, we're patting each other on the back or we're offering support to really help with the acceleration of those deal cycles. So that's just, I guess, a snippet of what the day-to-day -day access to that those insights offers me. Um, the roadmap is also, you know, super exciting. So, you know, when we consider some of the repeatable work that sellers are doing, such as spinning up exec um, request uh, mm -hmm. processes, or maybe they're, they want to create an account plan to share with the team and collaborate and channel before an upcoming um, uh, on-site visit or a demo, et cetera. All of these templates will be available in, in Elevate so that we can begin to automate again some of those repeatable exercises that sometimes slow us down. And again, natively in Slack. And that's the, the game changer for me as a leader. Yeah, that, that sounds uh, amazing. It's one of these things that, um, like if I think about the usage of Slack and how the previous part of my career where everything happened over email uh, operated, and the level of agility for my own self-work, for my own ability to find information, I like to request help uh, from others, from my manager, something like that. What Slack has changed in all of those terms. And seeing now that we're trying to apply that now specifically to sell, uh, sales teams and to try to bring that uh, to sales organizations, it is really, really exciting. Um, you've mentioned as a sales leader, what it does for you. And if you were an AE and account executive, what it would have done for you. But Slack uh, Sales Elevate also kind of helps uh, uh, ops uh, sales operations teams. Uh, in what way do we touch them specifically to, to make sure that things are not only for the person that is selling, but it's also for the, uh, for the teams that are supporting sales processes? Yeah. So again, you know, this is a personalized lens into all parts of the sales team. Right. And, you know, we we we, we often overemphasize the seller and the sales leader. But, mm -hmm. you know, we, you know, it definitely does take a village and never before has it been, you know, more complex and critical for us to get the right people in at the right time. Right. So we've been selling in, in account channels that, you know, um, swarm around a unique customer you know, for as long as I've been at Slack. Um, what Elevate does is, you know, it gives the power to a RevOps team, to a sales ops team, to a legal persona, their lens on the sales funnel based mm -hmm. on the relevant data points for them, right? So pulling in opportunities, um, you know, when when I, when I work with my sales ops um, business partner, the brains behind the operation, you know, he's constantly one or two steps ahead of us to really look and see, are there triggers that we should be mindful of? Is there something about our pipeline, you know, when we look at the various stages of it? So personalizing the reports that he would normally use or she would normally use in sales cloud and surfacing them in, in Slack, again, gives us more agility, um, depend, regardless of what persona you are that's relevant to the sales cycle. That's so powerful. Um, and, okay, so the main benefit I understand that is like, that increase in sales productivity for the whole of a sales organization, not exclusively to one team or another. Um, in addition to this uh, productivity and time saved, which time is money and energy, which is already like really valuable, is there any other metrics that we're already uh, seeing that is maybe helping us with internally or that it could affect uh, by the use of sales elevate? Yeah, so the key ones that we would measure and, um, you know, we're, we're constantly iterating. There's actually a really good report that Salesforce ran in July. Um, I it's the world of, of sales. I'll, 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 we'll, we can share it afterwards, but mm -hmm. um, so it's it's up to date and has, um, you know, a very decent sample size. So there are a number of KPIs. So we look at the deal cycle. So the length of a deal cycle, um, you know, mm -hmm. is this being accelerated and absolutely the um, the deal cycles are shortening as we've continued to use Elevate. Um, we look at our response times to customers. We look at our conversion rates on pipeline. And all of these metrics are going the right direction. We can share afterwards exactly what some of those look like, both from our own internal. And um, so mm. since July, since we've been using it, and more recently since August, since we've extended that to the, the full Salesforce um, sales ecosystem, and then also our beta customers who have been working on this for a number of months as well. So 
what else are we measuring? So it's the typical, you know, sales, mm-hmm. it's it's conversions, it's deal cycles, it's response to teams. The other thing we're looking at, again, is um, uh, also and uh, is is increasingly critical is our employee engagement, right? So, mm-hmm. you know, we know having come out of COVID where effectively, you know, to, to some extent we had recreated an in-office experience digitally and that has, you know, um, tended to... Uh, create some you know additional stress and we've tried to you know really iterate around what hybrid or what async work can do to alleviate some of that pressure so the employee engagement with elevate again as i said it removes a lot of the barriers of having to kind of schedule some of the manual updates that you have as a result of your day's work so that's another metric that we're um focused on and curious about as we capture our our employee insights survey mm-hmm. results and and really understand the impact on employee well well-being as well through this um uh, slack uh view of how to sell love that so basically we can expect to sell to close uh, more deals close them a little bit quicker uh getting back to customers quicker which is also critical because uh, no matter what your business is you won't have customers and also have employees better engaged so what's not to love there really um, I guess, Vanessa, my last question about it is, if I am a Slack Salesforce customer mm-hmm. and I'm interested in Sales Elevate, what do I need to do? Who do I talk to? Yeah, so your account team is ready. Um, so we have a lot of call to actions. First of all, you know, there's a lot of um, really recent engagement and um, a buzz on the market following Dreamforce where Elevate was very mm-hmm. much front and center in the Slack narrative. So go and have a look at that in terms of the demo environments and some of our customers who are talking about the real impact it's had on their business in a short time. So that would be the first thing. And then importantly, your account team is waiting and eager to personalize um, our demos to show you and your unique business, how Elevate can help you to, you know, move the needle on some of those productivity metrics that you are most interested in to drive your business forward. Perfect. So I can just reach out to them and they know what to do from there. Exactly, exactly. We also have a number in EMEA of Slack City Tours coming up over the next, um, I think, maybe six or seven weeks. So um, we can share those as well. So if you are in the region and you want to hear more, we'd love to meet you at some of our demo booths and, and, and figure out how to share the full power of Elevate with you and your business. Perfect. Love that. Well, um, thank you so much, Vanessa, for your time today and for sharing the exciting news about Sales Elevate today with us. Um, My pleasure, Miguel. Yeah, and if you're ready, we can jump into the demo for our customers. Cool. Perfect. Thanks for your time again, Vanessa. Thanks, Miguel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Every sales team wants to grow their business, drive revenue, and build strong customer relationships. But these days, connecting the dots across customers, distributed teams, siloed data, and disparate systems is far from easy. And when sales teams are bogged down with things like finding experts, getting approvals, and switching between apps, it limits their productivity, slowing down sales cycles, and making it difficult to develop strong customer relationships. Now, there's a simpler way to do it all. Introducing Slack Sales Elevate, a native Slack solution built specifically for sales teams to take their productivity to new heights. Fueled by Sales Cloud data, it's the productivity engine that automates tasks, creates visibility for everyone, and puts AI, data, and CRM in the hands of your sales teams. Now, reps can stay on top of what's most important to their business in a single view. With Slack Sales Elevate, they can track KPIs and receive timely alerts on their Salesforce accounts and opportunities right from Slack. Keeping your pipeline up to date has never been this easy. Reps can easily update all opportunity details in a single view and changes are automatically synced back to Sales Cloud. That's less time spent on data entry and more time for selling. Sales leaders get their own tailored view to get real-time visibility into their team's deals and performance, then easily jump in where they're needed, get AI-powered insights from Slack AI, and help move deals across the finish line. With dedicated channels linked to Salesforce accounts and Slack Canvas, everyone from reps to executives have all the information and tools they need to get up to speed. 
Tap into the power of team selling with the right people, processes, and data all in one place. Whether that place is behind a desk or on the road, you can collaborate on deals and even bring customers into the conversation with Slack Connect. And when a deal moves to closed one, teams can celebrate together no matter where they are and build momentum with channels that automatically share deal wins. Slack Sales Elevate transforms the way your sales teams reach peak performance and win. By bringing your people, AI, data, and CRM together to keep your customer at the center of every conversation.